Today on Baseball Classics, we will have the 1964 New York Yankees play the 1941 Brooklyn Dodgers. The Yankees will bring Mickey Mantle, Joe Pepitone, Jim Bouton, Whitey Ford, Elston Howard, and Roger Maris. Whereas the Dodgers, we will see Pete Reeser, Dixie Walker, Whit Wyatt, Kirby Hig Higby, Pee Wee Reese, and Dolph Camilli. The starting lineups for today's game for New York will be Bobby Richardson at second base, Tony Kubek the shortstop, Mickey Mantle in center field, Roger Maris in right field, Elston Howard the catcher, Joe Pepitone first base, Tom Tresh in left field, and Cleet Border, the third baseman. And today's starting pitcher, warming up in the bullpen, is Jim Bouton. For the 41 Dodgers, Harry Cookie Lavagetto, the third baseman, will lead off. Billy Bryan, the second baseman. Pete Reeser, the shortstop. Dolph Camilli is at first base. Ducky Medwick in right field. Dixie Walker in left field, Pee Wee Reese, the shortstop, Mickey Owen, the catcher, and warming up on the mound is Kirby Higby, Great B, White uh, Control Modifier. It's game time, and stepping into the batter's box for New York is Bobby Richardson. 18 now, feeling column one, which both teams will be using feeling column one, is going to be a quick air on the shortstop, Pee Wee Reese. So Rich Richardson is at first base for New York. And Richardson is a fast runner. And Tony Kubek is going to use the hit and run option to pitch to Kubek. 63 is a 31, which is going to be a single to right center. Richardson's going to go all the way to third, and the 64 Yankees are off to a fast start. Brings the bat with first and third, Mickey Mantle. There's a windup and the pitch to Mantle. There's a drive, it is over the fence, and just like that, the New York Yankees have jumped out to a three to nothing lead. So that clears the bases for Roger Maris. Eight against a B pitcher is going to be a fly out to center field with the first out. Austin Howard. That is a zero second column run. 25. That's going to be a long drive for Howard. One to home run, and that's the barrage continues. It is four to nothing. New York already. Joe Pepitone. 62 is going to be a fly out to right field. Tom Tresh. Tom Tresh strikes out, but the shell shocked Dodgers go to their dugout already four runs behind. We go to the bottom of the first. Cookie Lavagetto leads off for Brooklyn. 21 is a fly out to center field against the great B pitcher. Billy Herman, former Chicago Cub. 36 is a base on balls. Herman's at first, he, but he is a slow runner. Pete Reeser. 
think they will not play it conservatively. They'll just they'll take their chances. Four runs down. 55 is going to be a seven. And that's a single right. And that will get Herman all the way to third base. So the Dodgers have a little something going here. First and third with one out. And that brings to bat powerful Dolph Camilli, the Brooklyn first baseman. Get the base runners on here for Brooklyn. Here's the pitch to Camilli. Camilli hits a drive. That's going to be a triple to left field. And that will score two Dodgers. And here in the first inning, the score is New York 4, Brooklyn 2. So a bit of a sigh of relief amongst the crowd. That brings to that Ducky Midway with Camilli on second. He is a, let's see what his speed is. Well, he's an average speed. There's the pitch to Medwick. 21's a fly out to left field for the second out. Dixie Walker. That's going to be a fly out to center field. But Brooklyn trims two runs off that fast start that the Yankees got in the top of the first. We'll go to the top of the second inning. New York 2, Brooklyn, New York 4, Brooklyn 2. Cleet Boyer will lead off for the Yankees. Here's the pitch to Boyer. 26 is a fly ball to left field. One out. And Jim Bulldog Dalton steps in for the Yankees. 46 is a strikeout. This is back to the top of the order. And Bobby Richardson. 65 is going to be a pop out to the catcher. So no runs for the Yankees in the top of the second. We go to the bottom of the second, New York 4, Brooklyn 2. Pee Wee Reese. 63 as they fly out to center field. Mickey Owen. Pop out the catcher. And now Kirby Higby. That's going to be a second column roll. 65 is going to be a base hit, single. He will be at first with average speed. And to the top of the order, Cookie Lavagetto. Thirty-two is going to be a ground out second to third second baseman to the shortstop retiring Higby at second. So that score that is a fielder's choice. But the third out in the bottom of the second inning, we go to the top of the third, four to two New York. Tony Kubak leads off the Yankee shortstop. A tall for more more shows. Short stops. He is a strikeout. Mickey Mantle. 54 is a ground ball at third base. Mantle is now one for two after hitting that three run home run in the first. Roger Maris. 51 is a nine against a grade B pitcher. That's going to be a single for Maris. And he is now one for two. Brings up Elston Howard, who also homered in the first inning. 53 is at 18 on fielding column one. It's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. Out, Reese to Camille. We go to the bottom of the third, 42 New York. Billy Herman draws a base on balls. He's going to not play conservative again. Uh, he did last time. He got the third on the single. So he will try. Pee Wee Reese, 33, is going to be a 
five, play result of five, and that's a home run over the right center field fence, tying the game for Brooklyn at four to four. So Pee Wee Reese will touch them all. Brings up with no outs, Dolph Camille. 65 as they pop out to the catcher. One down. Joe Medwick. 29 is a ground out to the pitcher. Two away. And Dixie Walker. Dixie Walker gets a base hit. So with two outs, Brooklyn has a runner at first. <clears throat> 39 is a strike. Base hit to center field. The runner will go to third, and Reese will steal second on the first pitch. So we got runners at second and third with two away, and Brooklyn threatening to put more, more runs on the board after Pete Reese's two-run home run. Earlier in the inning, here's Mickey Dillon. He's going to be intentionally walked. So the bases are loaded for Kirby Higby. Forty-three is a batter is safe at first. Runners forced out at home. Ground ball to pitcher to catcher. So that ends the third inning. But the Brooklyn Dodgers tie the score at four to four. So we go to the top of the fourth, and Joe Pepitone will lead off for the Yankees. As they fly ball to right field. Tom Trish. Trish gets a second column roll, which is a double. And with one out, the Yankees have Tom Trish at second base. Cleet Boyer is the batter. They will pitch the Boyer. 42 is a strikeout. And that brings up Jim Bowden. And he will go ahead and bat. And Jim Bowden strikes out. That's the end of the top of the fourth for the Yankees. Score is still tied 4-4. Four four. Top of the Brooklyn order. Cookie Lavagetto leads off. Here's the pitch. Ground out to third base. One out. Billy Herman draws a walk. And that is the third time in a row that Billy, Billy Herman has been walked. With one out, he's not playing it conservatively. Pete Reese, 45, 14. He's a Z pitcher, so that's two balls and no strikes. And that's going to be two more balls and no strikes. So Pete Reese draws a walk, puts Dodgers on first and second, one down. And I would say there's some stirring going on in the Yankee bullpen. Dolph Camilli steps in. That's going to be a fly ball to right left field, not deep enough for anybody to advance. Camilli's retired for the second out. And Joe Medwick steps in. 
54 is a four, play result of 40. Safe on air on the shortstop or second baseman as they tried to flip the ball to second base to get Reeser and he dropped the ball. So we got the bases loaded. Actually, Bobby Richardson dropped the ball for the Yankees. Dodgers up the bat. Bases loaded. Two outs. Dixie Walker with 311 in Forty one here at the pitch to Walker. Twenty one is going to be a fly out to left field, so the Bowden and the Yankees survive. A lot of turmoil there in the fourth. Score still tied four to four. Top of the Yankee order for the top of the fifth inning. Bobby Richardson. Play results a nine. That's going to be a base hit. And the Yankees have speed at first base. They successfully ran a hit and run play in this situation earlier in the game, and I think they're going to try it again. Here's the pitch to Kubek. Richardson started. 25, that's going to be a single through shortstop. Except against a great deep pitcher. He's 28. That's going to be caught by the shortstop, thrown out at first base. So Kubek is retired, 6-3. But he advances the runner. Bobby Richardson goes to second with one out, and Mickey Mantle is the batter. He wins a nine against a great B pitcher. It's a base hit over second base, and Bobby Richardson scores. The Yankees take a 5-4 to four lead here in the 5th. There's still only one out. Dodgers have the bullpen stirring. And I think you have to... We're going to go to the bullpen. Timeout. The Dodgers do go, do, go to the bullpen and Luke Hamlin... Will be the new pitcher. He's a grade C pitcher with a Y modifier. That closes, well, actually, doesn't quite close the book on, but Kirby Higby pitched four and a third inning, gave up six hits, struck out five, walked nobody. He gave up five runs and is responsible for two more base runners. Here's the pitch to Roger Maris. 29 play result. Ground out to the first baseman. And the runner goes to, let's see, ground out to the pitcher out of the first. Y modifier, that's a strikeout. So that's a strikeout, two outs. And the batter is Elson Howard. Sixty-three is a fly ball to center field. That concludes the top of the fifth inning. But the Yankees score one to take a five to four lead over the Dodgers. Pee Wee Reese leads off the bottom of the fifth for the Dodgers. Twenty-two is a roll. That's going to be a fly out to center field. One down. Nicky Owen. 34 is a fly out to center field as well. Mantle hauls it in. And with two outs, Luke Hamlin will stay in the game and bat for himself. He strikes out. We go to the top of the six. Yankees five, Dodgers four. Joe Papatone will lead off the six for New York. There's the pistol Papatone. Play result is 28. It's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. 
for the first out. And so far, Pepitone's 0 for 3. The batter is Tom Tresh, who doubled in the fourth inning with the pitch to Tresh. 40 play results, a foul ball. For strike one. Fly out to left field. And now the eighth batter in the lineup, Cletus Lawyer. 51 is a base hit for Cleet Boyer. And that brings the bat the pitcher Tim Bowden. 62 is a fly out to right field. Yankees fell to score in the sixth. And we go to the Bottom of the sixth inning, five to four New York over Brooklyn. Top of the Brooklyn order, Cookie Lavaghetto sets in. Here's the pitch to the third baseman. That's going to be a zero. Second call and roll. 23 is a two base hit. The lead off the top of the bottom of the sixth inning for the Dodgers. And we'll take a time out here as the Yankees are going to go to their bullpen. Okay, the new new Yankee pitcher will be Pete Mickelson. He's a grade C pitcher with a Y modifier. Jim Bowden pitched five innings. He gave up seven hits, struck out one, walked five. He's responsible for four runs. And all of those were earned. And he's also responsible for the runner at second base. Here is Mickelson's pitch to Herman. Five. That is a 36. The runner on second. It's a wild pitch. And the runner, base runner Lavagetto goes to third. So ball one on Billy Herman. He's already walked three times today. 63 is a fly out to shallow center field. Oh, wait a minute. Um, third fly out down to shallow center field. Uh, Levigetto, if he's fast, will score. But he is not. Yes, he is listed as a fast runner, so he tags up and he will score on the sacrifice fly. Tying the score 5 to 5. That run will be charged to uh, Jim Bounton. So five runs and five earned runs allowed by Bounton. So nobody's on base. One out. The batter is Pete Reeser. Homered his last. Homered in the third inning. Singled in the first. Walked in the fourth. So he's had a very productive day. Pete Reeser. One four thirty as they fly out to left field. Dolph Camilli comes to bat. That is a ground out to the shortstop. Kubek to Pepitone. But the Dodgers score one in the bottom of the sixth to tie the score at five to five. We go to the top of the seventh. And Bobby Richardson in the top of the New York order. We'll see what they can do. Here we go. Hamlin winds and throws. 25 as they ground out to second base. Tony Kubek steps in. Three is a 20. That's going to be an error on Billy Herman at second base. So Kubek goes to first. And Mickey Mantle steps in. Mantle is two for three on the day. Here's the pitch to Mantle. They fly out to right field. Kubek holds it first. And Roger Maris. One Maris gets a nine against a grade C pitcher. That's going to be a ground out to third base. So the Yankees are set aside here in the seventh. 
Go to the bottom of the sun, New York 5, Brooklyn 5. Pete Mickelson stays on to pitch the bottom of the seventh. He will be pitching to Joe Ducky Nedwick, former St. Louis Cardinal. And there is a second column roll. 55, that is going to be a triple to left center field. And the Dodgers are getting off to a fast start here in the bottom of the seventh. That will encourage New York to play the infield in, and they do so. Pitch to Walker. 56. He has a 34. That's going to be a high infield pop out to first base. Caught by Pepitone. And he, Walker's retired for the first out. Pee Wee Ray steps in. Infield is still playing in. Reese strikes out. That allows the infield to move to normal depth. And they're going to walk. Uh, Mickey Owen, bring up the pitcher's spot. And the Dodgers are going to send up a pitch hitter for the pitcher, Hamlin. Timeout. The Dodger pitch hitter will be Lou Riggs. He has runners on first and third with two outs. Here's the pitch to Riggs. Do you want to say eight against a grade C pitcher? That is going to be a fly out to center field. So Mickelson does hold on and holds the Dodgers scoreless, and the seventh would go to the top of the eighth, five to five. The new pitcher for Brooklyn will be Hugh Casey. He is a grade C pitcher with a Y modifier. Leading off the top of the eighth for New York, Elston Howard. Forty-four is a grade seven. That's going to play result seven. Is going to be a base hit. Howard goes to first for New York. He's a slow runner. And I believe the Yankees will play it safe. Go up it on the batter. 46 is a fly out to right field. One away. Tom Tresh. There's a second column roll. Here's the second column roll. It's a 13-6. That will be a double over first base. The runner will, Howard will was playing it safe, so he will only get the third. But the Yankees have a threat with one out. Runners on second and third. And Cleet Cle Boyer will be intentionally walked. Loading the bases. Hopefully setting up the double play from the Dodgers. And New York is going to look to the bench for a pitch hitter for the pitcher. The pitch hitter with the bases loaded is going to be Hector Lopez. And when, we, when the Yankees take the field, Hal Reynolds will be the new pitcher. He's warming up in the bullpen. Here's the pitch to Hector Lopez. It's going to be a fly out to shadow left field. The runners will have to hold. And there are two outs. Top of the order, Bobby Richardson. See if he can um, break up the log jam on the scoreboard. Pitch to Richardson with the bases loaded. This is a 52. That's going to be a 27. Ground out to third base. The throw over to the first. Richardson's retired, and so is the Yankee threat in the eighth inning. We go to the bottom of the eighth, five to five. Hal Reddiff is a new pitcher. He's a great B pitcher, Y modifier. 
Mickelson pitched two innings, gave up one hit, struck out one and walked one. And Reniff will be facing the top of the Dodger order. Cookie Lavagetto. Here's the pitch to Lavagetto. 34 is a fly out to center field. One out. Billy Herman. Line four is a also a fly out to the center field for the second out. And Pete Reeser is another fly out to Mickey Mantle in center field. So Renneth and Mantle were busy for the Yankees as the Dodgers go quietly in the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth. The score is still tied at five to five. Hugh Casey stays on. And he will pitch to Tony Kubek. 65 is going to be a pop out to the catcher for the first out. That brings up the Mick, who is two for four today. Has a home run and a single. 29 is the play result. Ground out back to the pitcher. Two outs. Roger Maris. And that is also a ground out. Back to the pitcher Casey. Throw over to Camilli. And Roger Maris is retired. And the Yankees go out quietly in the top of the ninth. Score, score is still tied. 5-5. Five to five. Hal Renoff will stay in <clears throat> and pitch to Dolph Camilli. Eight against a B pitcher. It's going to be a fly out to center field. One down. Joe Medwick. There's a second column roll. Zero on the first column. 45 is going to be a two base hit for Joe Medwick. He, doubled, he tripled his last time up. Now he's on second base in the bottom of the ninth. He could be the winning run. Dixie Walker is the batter. Nobody's warming up in the Yankee bullpen, so it's it's on Howard Ryan's shoulders. Here's the pitch to Renner. 43. That's a ground out to the first baseman. And the runner goes to third. Score at three to one and two outs. The better it is now Pee Wee Reese. So if we're going to go to the extra innings, we're will have to retire Reese. Here's the pitch to Pee Wee. Reese is one for four on the day. 24 is going to be a round out to the pitcher. So we go to the top of the 10th inning. And the score is tied 5 to 5. Dodgers will bring in a new pitcher. And the new Dodger pitcher will be Newt Kimball. He is a grade C pitcher with a W modifier. And leading off of the Yankees is the catcher, Austin Howard. 61's a roll. That's a 22 feeling column one. It's ground out to first base. 31. Joe Pepitone. 31 is the roll. That is going to be a pop out to third base. Two outs. And Tom Tresh. That roll is a 31. And 14 is going to be a base on balls. So with two outs. Tom Tresh, a fast runner for New York, is at first. And the batter is Clay Boyer. Kimball will pitch to Boyer. And it is going to be a ground out back to the pitcher. Yankees go down in the top of the 10th inning. Score is still tied 5-5. Five to five. The new Yankee pitcher will be Raleigh Sheldon. He is a great D pitcher 
one of the YZ modifiers. And Mickey Owen will lead off the Brooklyn half of the bottom of the 10th inning. That's a ground out to second base for the first out. New Kimball's going to stay on for the Dodgers. 43, play result, 29 is a ground out to the pitcher. 2 away. And to top of the order, Cookie Lavaghetto. The one that's a 9, he gets a great deep pitcher. Cookie gets a base hit. And with two outs, Dodgers have a runner on first. And he's a fast runner. Billy Herman. Touchdown. Let's fly out to left field. So the Dodgers go down in the bottom of the 10th inning. The score is still tied 5-5. Five to five. Raleigh Sheldon will stay in the game and lead off for the New York Yankees here on the top of the 11th inning. Sheldon strikes out for the first out. Bobby Richardson will bat for New York. Two five is a pop out to catcher. Two outs. Tony Kubek. Twenty four is a strikeout. So we go to the bottom of the eleventh, still tied five to five. Pete Reeser leads off for Brooklyn. Reeser strikes out. Dolph Camilli. Three two, that's a base on balls. One down. Camilli's at first. Average speed. So we'll not play conservatively. Uh, Joe Medwick's the batter. Fly out to left field. Two outs. And Dixie Walker comes to bat. That they fell out to the catcher for the final out. We go to the top of the 12th, 5-5. Five to five. Mickey Mantle will lead off the Yankee 12th. And Hugh Kimmel stays in the game. Pitch to Mantle as a roll of 43. Ground out to first base. One down. Roger Maris. Pops out to the catcher. Two away. Elston Howard. Nelson Howard gets a second column roll. Let's we'll see what that is. 64 is going to be a double for Elston Howard. So that puts a Yankee at second base with two outs in scoring position. And Joe Pepitone's the batter. Pepitone has not had a good day. He's 0 for 5. But he can change that all around with something good here. We have to pitch the Pepitone. Roll 26 is going to be a fly out to right field. Retiring the Yankees in the top of the 12th inning. That brings the bat for Brooklyn. Pee Wee Reese. Raleigh Sheldon stays on. The pitch to Reese. 26 is a ground out to third base. For the first out, Mickey Owen, the catcher, comes to bat. The one that's going to be a nine, that's going to be a base hit for Mickey Owen. So with one out, the Dodgers have a runner. And the pitcher's coming to bat. Well, he will sacrifice, even though there's one out. 
try to get Owen in the scoring position. 56 is a 34. Um, the third baseman picked it up and was able to retire the catcher Owen at second base, five, five to six. So fielder's choice. And now New Kimball's the runner at first. And we go to the top of the order. So an unsuccessful attempt to sacrifice the Brooklyn Murder the second. Cost the Dodgers their second out. Here's Cookie Lavagetto. 21, that's a fly ball. Caught by Mickey Mantle in center. And we go to the top of the 12th. The Dodger, let's see, I think we're in the 13th. It's going to be the top of the 13th. Score tied 5-5. Five to five. Tom Trice will lead off the Yankees 13th. 41 is a ground out to shortstop. One down. Clay Boyer. That is going to be a base hit for Cleet Boyer. Well, the scoring in that first inning, we thought this could be quite the high scoring game, but the pitching has really reestablished control. And Raleigh Sheldon will step in for New York. Sheldon will sac try to sacrifice. D2 is a player result 27. Two strikes on the batter. So Sheldon's going to go ahead and swing away. And he strikes out. That brings the bat. Bobby Richardson with two outs. Runner at first. 36 is a pop, pop out to the third baseman. So the Yankees go quietly in the top of the 13th. We go to the bottom of the 13th. Score tied 5-5. Five to five. Sheldon pitches to Billy Herman. Three, that's a ground out to the second baseman. 4-3. to three. First out. Pete Reeser. 1-6 is a Round out the shortstop. And Dolph Camilli. That's going to be a great double to right center field. And that puts a with two outs, the winning run in scoring position. And the batter is Joe Medwick. Medwick is Two for four on the two for five on the day with a triple and a double. We have to pitch to Med, Medwick. Three is a sixteen on fielding column one. That's going to be a single single to center, but the batter is thrown out at home by the center fielder Mickey Mantle. How about that, Yankee fans? That is the third out of the thirteenth inning. We go to the top of the fourteenth. The score tilts. Still tied five to five. Tony Kubek will lead off the fourteenth. Twenty four is a strikeout by Kubek. And Mickey Mann will be the batter. The Yankee fans are here in the stands and Ebbets Field are still buzzing about that throw to home. Here's a pitch to Mantle. 26, he swings and misses for strike three. Two outs. Roger Mayer steps in. That's a strikeout as well, and New Kimball strikes out the side in the top of the 14th. Score tied, 5-5. Five to five. Raleigh Sheldon still comes out to pitch, and he will pitch to 
Dixie Walker. Ground out to second base, four to three. Pee Wee Reese. 25, that's going to be a ground out to second base. And Mickey Owen. Owen gets a base hit. That is his second hit of the game. And his second hit in extra innings. Okay, the Dodgers will have a pitch hitter for New Kimball. And the pitcher will be Jimmy Wasdell. Two outs, we're on first. Pitch to Wasdell. It's going to be a two balls and no strikes. Well, he's throwing the control pitcher with the Z rating. 65 is going to be a pop out to the catcher. And we'll go to the top of the 15th inning. The score tied 5 to 5. The new Brooklyn pitcher will be Mace Brown. He is a grade B pitcher, Y modifiers, and also a walk, W walk modifier. Nelson Howard will lead off for the Yankees here in the 15th inning. That is going to be a base hit for Austin Howard. Howard's at first. Slow runner. The Yankees might do a pinch runner here. Let me think about that. The Yankees do bring in a pinch runner. He will be Phil Lenz, rated F fast runner. And uh, when we go to the bottom of the 15th, Johnny Blanchard will be the catcher. For New York. Here's Joe Pepitone. Fly ball to left. Pepitone's retired. Lenz holds it first. And Pee Wee Reese, or excuse me, Tom Tresh steps in for New York. There's a second column roll. Remember, we got speed on first base. 35 is a drive over the wall so the speed will not matter and Tommy Tresk gives New York a two run lead with that home run and scores New York seven and Brooklyn five Cleet Boyer Boyer strikes out And Raleigh Sheldon is going to stay in the game and try to save this for the Yankees. Sixty-five. That is a pop out to the catcher. So Sheldon's retired. For the third out in the 15th inning, we go to the bottom of the 15th. It's now New York 7 and Brooklyn 5. Kuki Lavagetto will be the leadoff hitter for Brooklyn. Two runs down. Here's the pitch. 33, that's going to be a second column roll. So right away, they have an answer. 22, it's going to be a triple to left center for Cookie, Cookie Lavagetto. Brooklyn has a runner at third and nobody out. The runner at third is not the tying run, so New York is going to play the infield back. And pitch to Billy Herman. 51, that's a nine. That's going to be a base hit by Billy Herman. Drives in Lavagetto. The score is 7-6. to six. 
and New York will go to the bullpen. The new Yankee pitcher is going to be Steve Hamilton, very tall, 6'7", left-handed. And we have a runner on first and Pete Reeser, the batter. Pete Reeser is the time run. There's nobody out. See, that's it. 29 is a out at first. The runner goes to second. There was a Y modifier, but he is an X strikeout pitcher. So put the runner at second and Reeser is retired pitcher to first base. One down. Dolph Camilli with a tie and run in scoring position. That's a double play line drive to the shortstop. The runner is caught off second, and that will end the ball game. The final score Yankees 7, Brooklyn 6. Quite the game today. Now, back with a wrap up for today's terrific game between the 1964 Yankees and the 41 Dodgers. The star of the game is Mickey Mantle. Mickey hit a three run homer to get the Yankees started in the first inning, but the big play was the throwing out of the base runner, Dolph Camilli, in the 13th, 13th inning to preserve uh, the tie game. A uh, long throw from center field, cutting Camilli down at the plate, who was trying to score the winning run for Brooklyn. A lot of good relief pitching by New York, very very effective relief pitching by Mickelson, Reniff, Sheldon, Hamilton. But the star of the game today, my favorite player of all time, Mickey Mantle. Next time on baseball's APA Classics, we'll go to Detroit and Tiger Stadium to watch the Kirk Gibson's 1984 champion world champion Detroit Tigers take on the Whiz Kids of the Philadelphia Phillies of 1950. Please join us and God bless.